And thus, my dear brothers and sisters, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa in one amongst the very many treasures of his eloquence sallallahu alayhi wa and of his wisdom that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed upon him, told us, ثَلَاثٌ مُهْلِكَاتٌ وَثَلَاثٌ مُنْجِيَاتٌ وَثَلَاثٌ كَفَّارَاتٌ وَثَلَاثٌ دَرَجَاتٌ لكن سأتحدث اليوم في هذه الدقائق التي معنا سأتحدث عن الثلاثة الأول ثلاث مهلكات Three features or characteristics are destructive that is to the life of an individual and nay to the life of a society In other words, if any of these features are part of our characteristics then it is on the way of destruction that we are headed self-destruction before destruction of others sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam says describing those three one shuhun muta' ithnan hawan muttaba' al-thalith wa i'jab al-mar'i bi nafsih Shuh al-muta' What does shuh mean? Shuh is the inner state inside of you or inside of me that is characterized by keeping, by holding, by not sharing, by preferring to own and to keep rather than to give. That state of the inner self and then when it is obeyed, it becomes bukhl. When that inner state called shuh, as I described, is obeyed externally, it becomes greed or miserliness at the external level. And thus Rasulullah says, shuhun muta'. And he qualified that shuh with muta'. A shuh that is obeyed. Why did he qualify this Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Because as human beings, many times or sometimes indeed, we are challenged by inner feelings of greed. But that inner feeling of greed, either we externalize it or we restrain it. Restraining it is an act of righteousness, is an act of maturity, is an act of wisdom, is an act of consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is an act of fear from Allah azawajal is an act of love for Allah azawajal is an act of consciousness of what's await of what awaits me but when I let it loose when I express it when I externalize it that is what becomes destructive وَمَنْ يُوْقَ شُحَّ نَفْسِهِ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ says Allah azawajal what means whosoever is shielded and protected and guarded from his or her own shuh, such indeed will attain felicity, such indeed will attain happiness. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi used to teach us also a dua, Allahumma qini shuh nafsi. Ya Allah, protect me from the shuh of my inner self. One companion, I believe, maybe I forgot his name, maybe it was Abdullah ibn Umar, during Hajj season, as he was performing tawaf around the Kaaba, and we know of the uh, high recommended dhikr while we perform tawaf around the Kaaba, and he used to incessantly say, Allahumma qini shuhha nafsi, Allahumma qini shuhha nafsi. Allahumma qini shuhha nafsi, Allahumma qini shuhha nafsi. And when inquired from him, why did you keep only that duha? Why not other ad'iyah? And he said, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, because he was focused on that dua. He said, when Allah azza wa jal protects me from the shi'a, from the shuh of my nafs, then everything else will be fine after that. And Allah says, وَمَنْ يُوْقَ shuhha nafsihi and if clause, if Allah Azza wa shields me from the shuh of myself, therefore I will attain felicity. 
and thus he insisted on the dua.